Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Travis back again here at Big Boy Toy Reviews. And today we are taking a look at Doll Seam from Jada Toys. Um, I finally was able to get all of Wave 2, so I will be reviewing uh, Ken and M. Bison as well. Um, but uh, sorry about this. Uh, it's a weird situation right now. For some reason, when I recorded this video, none of the audio recorded. So I'm doing a voiceover on this review. So hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. Um, but yeah, uh, finally I was able to get this wave. I'm super excited to bring this to you guys. I know I am hella late with this. But typically from, well not typically, but learning from the last uh, or the first wave, it seems like the first batches of these don't go, the, aren't that great. And then when they make a few more batches later on, they seem to make improvements. Cause I, I, I feel like that's what they did with like Chun-Li and uh, Ryu. And so, um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, so um, let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. I mean, it's nothing special. We've seen these boxes before. Obviously, we know Jada Toys. They like to do like the arcade system style box that you would have seen probably in the 90s when this game came out. And you would go to like an arcade and they would have, you know, those weird, not weird, but those old school arcade machines. So. Yeah, obviously it says Street Ultra Street Fighter 2. I do like the uh, background. Uh, it's pixelated like the uh, like the game. That is a terrible pose. I don't know who is posing stuff for Jada Toys, but that's a stupid pose. And I should know what a stupid pose is considering that I am terrible at posing. So anyway, let's uh, take a closer look at the figure itself. Now there are at least one big issue there's a few issues with this one uh to be honest with you so we'll get to that but the uh, face paint looks really good you can see the little jewel in his head um he does have metal earrings i don't know if you can spin these or not but uh and you got the uh skulls on his necklace i want to say there may have been shading there i think there was maybe shading on the skulls um or at least there, there should have been, I feel like. Um, they do have it on the box. You can kind of see it right there on the box. Um, so I feel like maybe they could have did a little paint on the skulls, but it's not that big of a deal. But they do kind of look kind of plain. There is an issue with the, with the uh, color though. It's clear that his arms are a different brown than his chest, which is super weird. Um, it's not as noticeable when you're looking at it with your with the naked eye, but through the camera, you can tell. Same with the elbows. The elbows are a slightly different color than the arms, which is kind of weird too. Um, but uh, you know, I guess that sometimes happens. That seems to be happening a lot with uh, with Hasbro and the Marvel Legends as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, the uh, the shorts look really nice. The, there is shading all over the shorts. I'm not quite sure why they made this part of the shorts, like the little rope around his uh, his waist. It's not painted the greatest, but I felt like I feel like it should have been a separate piece. Um, it just doesn't look right. You can kind of see like the brown kind of kind of bleeding and then they don't paint all of it too like that yellow is the brown is not totally painted they didn't do a very good job at painting the belt it should have just been a separate piece totally and then they really wouldn't have had that issue um, no paint there uh there either so it's very very sketchy when it comes to the paint on the belt I'm not too happy about that uh the wraps do look nice on his arms he does have rings around his 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 uh, wrist they i feel like they should have been metal too why make the metal earrings but don't make the metal braces or yeah bracelets or whatever you want to call those for his uh 
for his arms. I feel like that was a real missed opportunity for them to uh, kind of go all out on this guy. Um, you may be able to find some something similar at like a craft store or something if you really want to take go uh, if you really want to take the effort and do that. Um, but uh, his knees are definitely noticeably uh, a different color than his legs. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You also have I also have a little flashing on the on one of, on his thighs too. That seems to be a thing happening here. The uh, the ankles look pretty good too, as far as the wraps around the ankles, and then obviously he does have sculpted toenails there. Um, it seems like there might be some shading on the back. I don't see any on the chest, so it's weird that they would put shading on the back and not on the chest. I'm not sure if that's just the nature of the plastic that they're using, but there seems to be a little shading on his back. I could be tripping, but I feel like there is. Um, but yeah, the rest of the paint on his head looks really, really good as well. But uh, yeah, he's a pretty a good looking figure, if I do say so myself. Anyway, let's get on to the accessories. Alrighty, so he does come with two stretchy legs. The uh, the bend is really nice, it holds really well. Um, there is one unfortunate uh, thing about this leg though. Um, the foot is attached, it's like built into the leg. I'm not quite sure why they couldn't make this a separate piece so you can actually utilize the joint. The ankle articulation, I mean, why? Why? It seems like such a weird choice. They, they clearly are able to use different plastics because the way that you uh, put it in his leg is a hard plastic. Why didn't they just make an ankle joint for this? This is kind of ridiculous, but anyway, he also comes with a stretchy arm and the stretchy arm is just as bendy as the the leg is. But again, they they made the hand, which is his only fist hands. He doesn't come with any other fist hands part of the arm. So you can't take the wrist out or you can't take the, the, the fist out. So you can't put them in any other of the uh, any of the other arms, the hard arms, so the hard plastic arms. So why? Why it's just it's I don't is it just laziness on Jada's end? It doesn't seem like it would have cost that much more to just make this the um, the uh, kind of uh, the same kind of you know hands and stuff that comes with the figure with that ugly. Um, wrist joint that's just a hinge i don't i don't appreciate it but it does have the um, the uh the bracers on there too uh bracelets i don't know but then he comes with a uh, kind of a open hand too here and yeah I, I do not like these these um hinge wrists they they seem outdated and archaic i wish they would move away from these um i wish this would go away um in the way of the dinosaurs is that how you say it i don't know <laughs> then he comes with a yelling head and he does also have the earrings that are metal in here as well um i don't it doesn't seem like you can twist these because i kind of want that open part to be in the ear and not out so it doesn't look so obvious that it's just a little cheap little metal ring but yeah the yelling face looks good um and then he comes with a stand and i assume this stand is for holding up like his limbs or the, like the stretchy limbs or something. It's an odd choice to uh, <laughs> to have this uh, as a kind of accessories, but uh, accessory. But I am probably going to be using it for something totally different. Alrighty, so for articulation, the head can move up this much. Um, I thought it would be able to move up a little bit more considering he doesn't have any hair or anything blocking it. I feel like it should have. I'm not quite sure what's going on. It's, it's, it's a double, uh, it's like a dumbbell joint. Um, it, it's still better than the hinged crap though. Um, it can look down this much and he does have some really, really good head tiltage. He can get his, uh, his shoulder up past parallel. So that's really good. Um, 
and then we kind of run into the issue at least my biggest issue with this figure is that the the um the uh the butterfly on the right shoulder it uh, stresses the plastic when you use it you can see like it's kind of turning white and it's starting to crack a little bit um yeah for some reason it's doing that only on the right side because it doesn't do it on the left side and i'm wondering if this was maybe from the first batch and they hadn't uh fixed that issue um because i did get these off of amazon so amazon could have gotten the old batches or they could still be filtering in or trying to trying to uh get rid of like the first batch i don't know i don't really know how the manufacturing uh of these figures actually works but anyway bicep swivel there and then we have way over 90 degrees with that elbow so it doesn't look too bad either um then obviously i talked about this earlier you got that ugly hinge joint for the wrist i hate it i really hate the, the ratchets in these figures um they, they're a soft ratchet but they are just so stiff and hard um there's no fluid there's no flow with it um he does get some decent uh side to side uh and it luckily they don't put like the ratchets there um he can go back this far uh that's decent and then he can go forward that far um and so you can move this guy all around he has the swivel at the bottom joint of the waist and it's also really hard ratchets, um, but you will not get it out of that diaphragm at all. I, I can't get any twisting out of that. He does get the full splits as he as well he should. Dalsim is a very flexible character. We got the thigh swivel under the shorts. That's really good. He can kick up that high. Now, if you want to try to get him to kick a look any higher than that, it is going to kind of veer off to the side. Doesn't look great. Um, it's unfortunate. Uh, he does get way over 90 degrees with his knee, so that's really, really good. Pretty pretty standard articulation for a Jada toy, to be honest with you. And then obviously he can go down that much with his foot and up that much with his foot. Actually, the foot doesn't go up that much. It's unfortunate. And then he does have a kind of a steep ankle rocker, but he has a swivel in his shin. Never really liked that because it doesn't look good when you use it, um, but it will help with that steep, uh, that steep uh, angle in itself. But uh, yeah, he is pretty good when it comes to articulation. And like I said, it's pretty standard for Jada Toys. But anyway, let's move on to some comparison. Alrighty, so here he is next to Arayu and Chun Li. And they they look good together. They are very similar in size. I think Dalsi might be slightly taller than uh, Ryu. I think Ryu is, is supposed to be 5'9", and Dalsi is supposed to be 5'9.5", or something like that. And then Chun-Li is supposed to be like 5'6", or something, 5'6 and a half, something like that. But obviously, they they look good. Um, then we have Fei Long and Ken, and I haven't reviewed Ken yet. That is that is a re review that's coming, but he's the same size as Ryu, and I think Fei Long is about the same size too. I'm not 100% sure how tall Fei Long is supposed to be, but Dalsim and, and Ken are similar heights, so yeah, they look good together. And here he is next to M. Bison, who I think is supposed to be 5'11", and Rainbow Mika, which the SH Figure Arts is clearly out of scale. Either Jada is way out of scale or SH Figure Arts is way out of scale because I think Rainbow Mika is supposed to be like 5'5". Five, five. And so she is way too tall um, for this line, which makes me think that the SH Figure Arts characters must be really, really big. Uh, I might pick some up. I might pick up the Chun Li and the Ryu, but um, we'll see. But yeah, they look good together. But uh, anyway, that is it for the review. Um, he's great. 
this is the pose that I'm probably going to keep him in forever. So any future reviews where I might be using him as a comparison, um, he is going to be in this pose. So, and that's what I'm using this stand for. I told you I was going to use it for something else uh, other than holding up his like limbs. Because I'm not really, I'm not using the stretchy limbs, to be honest with you. I I don't, I just don't like the fact that they didn't uh, put any ankle or, or wrist articulation in those uh, stretchy parts. I'm a little disappointed in that. That was quite the missed opportunity. Um, yeah, but like I said, Jada Toys, I, I think they need to like change. I, I wish they would use like a, a less brittle plastic um, because everything is just so tough and so hard to move. Their, their ratchets are just so stiff and un, un, unmoving. You know, they're just super, super solid. I mean, I, I get it, but I wish they would use more of a, like a Marvel Legends plastic. You know what I mean? Um, it's just too brittle and rough to me. Um, but uh, other than that, I think he's a great figure. So anyway, pick him up if you are um, collecting this line. But anyway, please, please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.